Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Now here's J.P. Divine. So, I opened my eyes this morning and there it was. Snow. I went to bed on deadline last night full of desperation. I had no column on my laptop. Well, there was something. 743 words of something. But it was crap. I've written a column for 33 years without missing a week. What if, I thought as I closed my eyes, I had died in my sleep without a column for this week? Oh, This is my 35th Christmas in Maine. If you were growing up here and you, like the nostalgic writer Amy Calder, have never lived anywhere else, your winters have probably been Norman Rockwellish, full of remembered candy and family warmth. That's that's healthy and lucky and very good. I, I envy that. Now, my youth was chaotic and mismanaged. I was moved around the map the way people rearranged furniture. I had this calendar in a room in my head full of the voices of the dead. It's also full of the winter scenes of the places I've been cold in. 1953, waking up in Japan on the day of the first snow in my little village was enchanting. When it snowed in those early days, the streets were full of women carrying brightly colored umbrellas. Shamanistic. From my little house in the village of Fuchu, I could see Mount Fuji. At dawn, when the sun kisses his holy place, it turns cherry blossom pink. Magic. On my first Christmas morning there, When the snow had settled, the lights of the village came on. The cooking pots started, and somewhere down our graveled street, someone played a few notes on a shakomachi flu. It was then I thought, maybe I could live there for the rest of my life. Of course, my secret little air base is abandoned now. The village swallowed up by the 21st century. I I wouldn't want to see that. It doesn't snow in Hong Kong, or at least it didn't when I was there. A winter morning there is full of crowded streets and a thousand and one smells. Hong Kong had its own magic, but it has no snow. New Yorkers wake up and see the snow and curse. But when you're young and in love in Manhattan, every day is full of color and hope. But snow... It holds magic for only about five minutes. New Yorkers are always late for work. They step into the street (laughs) over the black garbage bags and the homeless people sleeping on a flattened Christmas box atop a steam grate. Yeah. Then it's down into the subway where the aroma is of urine and wet wool and the burning smell of the subway cars breaks as they appear in front of you like like a dragon from a J.K. Rowling story. Magic can down just... It can just die if you let it. Now, young people tell me of their Christmas visit to Manhattan and how they would love to live there in that... Aussian glass and steel landscape. I just, I just smile. I, I keep my mouth shut. I know there were no rats or roaches in their Times Square hotels. Well, that's okay. Magic is all relative. San Francisco has no snow. San Francisco is America's Hong Kong. A city of streets full of scents. New York has odors. San Francisco has sense. L.A., the city of angels. My last stop before arriving here still smells of the people who lived there before white people ruined it. 
The aroma of tamales and mole sauce clings to the clothes of old dancers who now cut grass for a living and keep their heads down. This was their land once. No more. It's full of fear this Christmas. There's sadness here as well. As Latinos throughout the city are lighting candles for the soul of little Jacqueline Carl McQuinn, a child with the frail body of a sparrow who walked a thousand miles from Guatemala only to die in the New Mexican dust. And not far away on this day when we all celebrate the birth of the Son of God, the devil is building a wall. It's snowing again in my new village, and I still need to write a column. I thought, oh, I just did. Now, that is magic. Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Devine is sponsored by Sprague and Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueandCurtis.com. Make sure you pick up Central Maine Sunday this week wherever newspapers are sold and visit our website at CentralMaine.com.